Back to school season has finally started and I'm going to upload a few videos that will fully prepare you for the approaching school year. I'm kicking off my back to school series with a video about some essentials that I use pretty much every day when school has started. I hope this video inspires you for your back to school shopping list and motivates you for a new school year. Without further ado, let's get started. One, noise cancelling headphones. Noise cancelling headphones have really helped me to be able to focus anywhere. They are somewhat pricey, but I think they are a great investment, especially if you get distracted easily. If I feel tired or not very focused, I pull them out and turn on the noise cancelling. I can study for hours when I use them and I notice that I am much more productive when I wear them. It has definitely been a great purchase for my studies. Two. My phone. It might sound strange, but my phone is definitely one of my study essentials as well. A phone can be a huge distraction, but you can also use it in a positive way that will be useful for your studies. For example, I use my phone to keep in touch with my classmates, to share lecture notes and discuss class assignments. I also like to record lectures with my phone sometimes, especially if the study material is difficult or if I'm not very focused. I also use my phone during study breaks or as a reward after studying for a while. I always keep my phone in my bag while traveling to university or the library and I protect my phone with the phone case from Casetify. The quality of their cases is amazing and it contains military grade drop protection so if I accidentally drop my phone, my phone will survive the fall. I also like how the case is not bulky at all, but it will still protect my phone. You can choose between lots of stylish designs and customize your case the way you like it. I also love the Case Defy Conscious Collection, which is a collection of cases made entirely from compostable materials. They are 100% biodegradable, recyclable and compostable. They are good for your phone and good for the planet. I have chosen to add a motivational quote to my cases to keep me going even when I don't feel motivated at all. You can go to casetify.com slash ways to study today to get 20% off and match with me. 3. My laptop. My laptop is a study essential for me for a million reasons. I use my laptop to take notes during classes, to do research for writing papers and essays, to find more information about certain topics we've discussed in class, and to summarize my courses and prepare myself for my exams. I take it with me whenever I have class or when I'm studying. It's a must for every student. 4. My planner. I don't even know what I'd do without my planner. I use my planner every day and use it multiple times a day to see what I have to do. I make a planning for the day each morning and check my monthly overview for long-term projects and deadlines. I have designed my own planner and it meets all the needs that I as a student have. I use the open space to write down my activities, deadlines and appointments and use the to-do list at the bottom of the page for the things that I need to get done. I organize my whole student life with my planner. When I don't use my planner, I am much less organized, less prepared and often behind my schedule. Since I'm using this planner, I'm always right on schedule, getting my things done and reaching my goals. So that is why it is a necessity for me. Five, highlighters. No student can go without highlighters. I use highlighters to give important stuff in my books, notes and summary a color. I also like to use a highlighter in my planner for everything that is super important, for example exams or deadlines. If I open my planner, I instantly see the most important things first. I know I've mentioned this before, but I always recommend using a highlighter in a separate color for anything that is exam related. For example, you're taking a public international law class. You mostly use pink as a highlighter for this subject, and then I would recommend highlighting everything that is exam related in a bright yellow color. So every time the professor mentions an old exam question, for example, you can give it a yellow highlight. 
When you're studying for the exam a few weeks later, you can see all the exam related notes in an instant and focus on those a bit extra. 6. Water to stay hydrated at all times. I never start studying without a glass of water on my desk. It is so important to stay hydrated during your study sessions. I'm able to concentrate a lot longer and I get a lot less headaches when I'm studying. It's also great for stretching your legs during your study sessions to refill your glass of water because you have to walk through your kitchen and that gives your legs a break from sitting the whole time. I have a reusable water bottle that I bring with me whenever I go to university or the library so I don't have to depend on plastic bottles. 7. Notebooks I read a lot of my summaries in my notebooks. I personally prefer A4 spiral notebooks. I think these are the best for writing summaries. I have a notebook for each class that I'm taking so all my summaries and notes are all in one place. Eight, face mask for protection. This school year is going to be a little bit different than last year. I'll have most of my classes online and will probably only go to uni to go to the library or for important meetings, but otherwise I'll be home. Having a face mask with me is important for the health of other students, so I'm definitely bringing mine in case I need it. Nine, study snacks. After studying for a while, I always get snacky. I like to stick to healthy study snacks, such as grapes or cucumber slices. It helps me to study longer and to make it more fun as well. 10. My pencil case. I keep all my pens and highlighters in my pencil case. I also put other study supplies in there that would otherwise just lie around in my bag, for example, hair ties or chewing gum. I like having my pencil case on my desk to avoid having a desk that is filled with pens and highlighters. I put the stuff that I don't need at a certain moment in my pencil case and this keeps my desk tidy during my study sessions. 11. Law books. A law student is not a law student without their law books. I use it almost every time when I'm studying to search for an article that we're learning about or a law. And in my university, we're allowed to bring our law books to the exam and to highlight and underline articles. So I like to keep up with that during the semester as much as I can to prepare myself for my exams. 12. Textbooks. Of course, I also need my textbooks. I always order them in advance and try to look for secondhand editions if possible. I also use my highlighter in my books and then summarize them later on. I always read the assigned study material before class, so my textbooks are definitely an essential as well. 13. Page flags. I use page flags to highlight the pages that are super important and also for pieces of information I don't understand, so I can go back to that page and ask the professor or find more information about that on the internet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more back to school videos. If you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!